A nation's economic strength is inextricably linked to a robust banking system. For a banking system to be robust, it must have reliable infrastructure across all sections of society. In the last two to three decades, the very nature of financial transactions and banking has changed. Banks have transformed from brick and mortar to online platforms. From cash to card and from telecounters to clouds. Empowering citizens to achieve financial freedom and economic growth. At the heart of this transformation lies information and communication technology or ICT. Join us to witness the ICT banking revolution. What is a bank? It's a place where our assets remain safe. It's an institution that helps grow financially. And it's a channel for us to conduct financial transactions in a secure manner. Our most traditional ideas of banking look something like this. A building with safes and lockers, with a staff to help us navigate the system. In this traditional setup, currency is usually in the form of paper and coin cash. This is Banking 1.0. Banking 1.0 is a tedious system. Luckily, information and communication technology has brought about the solution. It's the next level of banking. Banking 2.0. What does Banking 2.0 look like? Thanks to the internet, brick and mortar banks have now a virtual presence. Bank tellers are now also machines called ATMs and cash is now also paperless. In Banking 2.0, ordinary citizens can conduct financial transactions anytime, anywhere, often at the click of a button or via smart devices. How did this revolution come about? In order to deliver useful services in customer-friendly manner, banking technologies achieved their first ICT milestone at the turn of the new millennium. It was called Core Banking. Today, every major bank's foundation rests on Core Banking. But what exactly is it? It's a system by which each branch of a bank is connected through a digital network. At its heart, or core, is a storage server. The server is a sophisticated hardware machine that stores every branch's information in digital format. It can communicate this digital information anytime to any bank branch by using satellite or telecommunication technology. This means that a customer can access his or her account from any outlet throughout the country. The advent of core banking in the early 2000s changed everything, paving the way for a whole new way of doing banking. A new kind of machine began sprouting up. It was the size of a small cupboard and it did many of the jobs that were traditionally done by brick and mortar banks. The ATM or automated telling machine is a 24-7 bank that anyone can access to withdraw or deposit cash, to deposit checks and even pay bills. ATMs have revolutionized the way we bank by eliminating long procedures and bringing the bank back to our own backyard. And it's not just about ATMs. Core banking and IT technologies have ensured that even payments can happen effortlessly. Today, over 550 million transactions are happening through debit and credit cards, which rely on the same magnetic strip technology as ATMs. 
thanks to online and mobile models. Banking 2.0 ensures that banks come to wherever the customer is. But there is yet more innovation around the bend. It's time for Banking 2.0 to upgrade to Banking 3.0. What will Banking 3.0 look like? One of the latest mobile banking systems to enter the retail and services space is Mobile Wallets. It's a mobile-based account that stores cash for specific purposes like booking a taxi or shopping online. When a purchase is made or a service rendered, the payment is simply deducted from the mobile wallet. 